Hey everyone, Zach Tucker here, getting you ready for another edition of Inside the Headset. This week we'll be out at what's known as the football capital of NC as Reedsville hosts Shelby in the 2A West Regional Final. We are joined now by Rams head coach, Coach Eric Teague. And Coach, your team is 13-1 and on the year, the number one seed in the 2A West bracket, and you have the chance to make it to the state championship game in your first season as head coach for the Rams. How are you processing all of this? Everything kind of goes back to where we started back in you know, late February, March with winter workouts leading to the spring and starting with spring practice, you know, it's kind of the, the expectation of coaching and playing and being part of the Riesel football program is that you're going to be playing in late November and have a chance to play in December. Uh, so that's, that's the expectation. And we've kind of, we've worked a long time since, the be- like I said, beginning of March basically uh, to get ready to this point. And we've, uh, we've played well. Um, we're hoping to put a couple more weeks together, uh, but we gotta. We know we gotta perform and execute at a high level this Friday night against Shelby. Your team has put up some video game like numbers ever since the, the playoffs started, scoring about forty five points a game on average while holding your opponent to about thirteen points a game. What do you think that that says about your team? Yeah, we. You got to play good in the playoffs. You can't have any any down weeks in the playoffs, or you're gonna be, you know. Uh, preparing for a basketball season or anything else that's going on in the winter. So we've been playing well in the playoffs. Uh, we've had, you know, never, several guys step up and contribute, and we've scored, you know, offensively on special teams, uh, had a couple of defensive scores. So when when everybody's contribu- contributing to the point total, that's always always good, not just the offensive guys. So we've had, a, you know, our quarterback has had – He's approaching the single season record for touchdowns. Uh, he needs like three more to tie the record. He's our school's leading passer, all time leading passer, all time leading touchdowns. We have a receiver, uh, Quayshawn Flippin, who's our all school's all time leading receiver, all time leading scorer and receiving touchdowns. And we got uh, some other guys, younger guys that are kind of right there with him as far as statistics uh, go. We have three or four guys that can very easily have a thousand yard receiving and we got a thousand yard running back. So we got a lot of weapons to spread the ball around uh, to kind of challenge the defense on Friday nights. Now a big time matchup against 11 and three Shelby tonight, a school that like Reedsville is a traditional powerhouse in the two way bracket. The winner of course, will move on to the state championship game coach. What can you tell me about the golden lions and what it's going to take to win the game tonight? Yeah, Shelby is always really well coached. We've uh, played them three times in the recent past. I think five times overall since the early 2000s. And, you know, they're always really well coached. They have a really good program. Uh, kind of us and Shelby are kind of up there as far as just the most winningest programs in the state, regardless of classification. So we know whenever you see their name on the bracket somewhere, you kind of look and see how far you're going to have to to match up with them. Uh, they're very similar to us. They have a lot of athletes on the field. They have a really good receiver who got selected to play in the Shrine Bowl. Uh, they have a really good running back. He's got like 1,500 yards rushing. Quarterback's only a sophomore and is thrown for, I think, over 3,000 yards on the year. Uh, so he's their offense is really explosive, and then they're also really aggressive and react well on defense. And they, like I said, well coached. So they, they have their keys, and they react to their keys, and they, they go and make plays so there. They're almost a mirror image of us. For, for if you've if you've never seen either team before, you probably say are almost mirror images of, mirror images of each other. So it's kind of tough sometimes when you're that similar uh, with that regard. But we know it's going to be a, a tough game. Uh, just again, overall, they're really well coached and have a lot of really good players. So we have a tough challenge for us tonight. Anytime you're playing in the semifinal game with the opportunity to go play for a state championship, it's going it's going to be a big big game, good atmosphere, uh, regardless of who you're playing. I think that's just amplified a little bit the fact that it is a reasonable Shelby uh, matchup. Um, so, you know, I think it's definitely a factor in the game, but we're – it's going to be a big game. Semifinal game is going to be a big game regardless of who the matchup is between. Home has been pretty good to you guys as you guys are 9-0 and at home on the season. How big is an opportunity to play this type of game at home? Yeah, every everything down from the just the the game day scheduling uh, time wise, as far as you know, when they get out of school, when we go eat the pregame meal, all that stuff is really familiar. Being the ninth home game that we've got to host um, on the year with the five regular season and now the fifth 
playoff game that we've been able to host in a row in our last regular season game was at home. So we've had several weeks at home. It's just a, you know, a little bit more comforting. You don't have to worry about getting on a bus and making sure that you've got everything packed. And there's just a lot of extra stresses going on when you have to get on the road and get on a bus and go play somewhere. So um, it's always, always nice to play at home, especially uh, with the renovations that we've had this past year, being able to go out there and practice and be at home for several weeks in a row has been a, a big positive for us, especially in this late in the playoffs. This is your first season taking over for the Rams as the head coach there. How are things gone versus your expectations at the beginning of the year? I've been asked that question several times throughout the season, just talking with opposing head coaches and things along that nature of just, you know, how, how has it been? It's the the best way to describe it has been, it's just been different. Uh, you know, I grew up in Reasonable, played at Reasonable, was assistant coach at Reasonable. So I'm not that I'm very familiar with our program, how we do things, the expectations, the, because people both kind of expect that it's a little bit more pressure, but I, I put more pressure on myself than anybody else could put on me. And that goes back to when I was playing and when I was an assistant coach, when I was a coordinator, I put more pressure on myself to succeed uh, than anybody else could, could ever um, do. So the pressure hasn't really been an issue. It's just, a, you know, all the, all the little small details of being the leader of the team, um, you know, just all the decisions kind of end up on your desk. So it's, it's just been different. Um, I've definitely, enjoyed the process of learning and the new challenges of being a head coach and uh, I've had a great group of coaches and and seniors I had a really good group of seniors this year for this first year a lot of those guys were three four year starters a lot of experience uh, so they're them along with my uh, coaching staff definitely helped out a lot in this kind of transition in my first year being a head coach now last week we had Thanksgiving. Christmas is right around the corner as well. It's a good time of the year to reflect and meet up with family and friends. What would you say are some of the things that you're most thankful for? It's kind of very typical of a football coach. Say the three F's, say are your faith and family and football are kind of, my wife might argue that they are not necessarily in that order all the time, but uh, definitely thankful for um, God put me in this position to be the head coach, put me where, where he's put me in. Uh, try to be where my feet are and try to have an impact here at Rizzo High School as much as I can. So I'm definitely, definitely blessed to be here and to have this opportunity to lead this team. And then next is family. You know, my, I tell my football players, uh, you know, how blessed I am to be their coach all the time. And then I always also say the about the best hour I get every day is when I get to come home from practice and spend that hour with my family before it's time to go to bed. I got two young kids so they they usually it's about their bedtime by the time I get home so that's that's about the best hour of my day and then third is supposed to be is uh football so I love football always love football um you know playing and coaching so it's, those are definitely my top three are there any special holiday traditions in the Teague family generally you know revolves around football we're generally eat, eating and you know there's usually a game some type of football game on TV. Um, so that's not other than eating and spending time together and watching football. That's, that's uh, pretty much is all that goes on when we get together. That's definitely not a bad plan there. What's your final message coach to all the Rams fan outs there before kickoff tonight? We're hoping the, that we get a little uh, patch of clear weather. So it's not too miserable for the fans, but we're just uh, ready and excited for a, a really good atmosphere. And we're, expecting to basically be standing room only uh, so people not just reasonable and shelby fans but people all in the area coming to watch one of the best matchups in the state so it's it's going to be a state championship type of atmosphere and we're hoping that we can uh, perform well and uh, it'll be a competitive game for the for the fans to see thanks again so much for your time today coach teague i appreciate it and good luck tonight and the rest of the way this season thank you for more inside the headset content, subscribe to the ABC 45 YouTube channel.